Saskatchewan. The land of the living skies is the seventh largest of Canada's 13 provinces. One million people live here in a landmass that is roughly equivalent to California and Minnesota combined. Yet this province has a history of firsts in healthcare. In 1962, the province established the first public Medicare program in Canada. Led by Tommy Douglas, the premier hailed as the father of Medicare. And it was here that the first Health Quality Council in Canada came into operation in 2002. I do believe Health Quality Council is seen as an agency that is there to support people working in the health system to improve the health care quality. Today, Saskatchewan is the first province in Canada to use a lean system of continuous improvement and Hoshin Conry, a strategic planning and management methodology to achieve better care, better health, better teams, and better value for the citizens of Saskatchewan. It is a collaborative effort involving the Ministry of Health, Health Quality Council, and the organizations that deliver care. As we start looking at value and waste from the patient's perspective, it becomes quite clear that much of what we do is uh, contributing very little uh, to the value proposition. And what we're doing now is uh, establishing the methodology and the tools and the culture that's necessary to follow the patient from beginning through to end of their care journey at every point of care and being able to streamline that service so that it best serves the patients. The challenge of transforming a provincial health system is vast, but thanks to a number of specific initiatives, such as the Saskatchewan Surgical Initiative, patients are already seeing better care. The initiative seeks to provide sooner, safer, smarter surgical care through all the points of the patient's journey. One primary goal is to reduce wait times, so by 2014, all patients have the option of receiving their surgery within three months. Certainly wait lists in the province are, for the most part, going down. But the greatest achievement, I think, is to shake up the surgical system from complacency. It's to put this out there that we have to improve what we're doing, that the status quo is not acceptable. That's the greatest achievement. I think that speaks to changing the culture of, of what we've been doing so far. I got involved with this not because I thought it was going to change my personal practice, but because there's only once or twice in a lifetime in a career that you get to do a big change, something that's really um, transformative and fundamentally different. The goal is that every provider understands and knows what they contribute to this and that every patient will know uh, that it's all about them. That it really is about how they, they lead the journey. Heather Thiessen has become the public face of patient-centered care in Saskatchewan. A mother of three who suffers from multiple sclerosis and myasthenia gravis, Heather comes to this hospital in Saskatoon to receive treatments and has become an outspoken advocate for patients' rights. I've had some terrible experiences in the healthcare system. I've been treated horribly. I've had good experiences and bad experiences and because I can't work because of my conditions, um, it's important for me to use my brain and but also to help that fellow patient that maybe not have a stronger voice that I do and so then I can be their guide. She has an important ally in Dr. Susan Shaw, a critical care doctor and the chair of the Health Quality Council. And having someone like Heather be a part of our team as a patient advocate or a family advocate changes the conversation in so many ways. At first we had hesitation. We thought, well, people and patients can't handle this. They don't know enough. They know more about health care than we ever will because they live it. Another key component of Saskatchewan's health care transformation is its team-based approach to quality improvement. Better teams means doctors, nurses, patients, and administrators all have a voice in how care is redesigned. I think nurses and, and all health care providers need to be involved in, in submitting their ideas. They're the people that are at the front lines. They work with the patient. Another solution, the redesign of primary health care, is also gaining steam here. Saskatchewan is literally changing how patients access their care and paying off on the promises of better health and better value. What we would like to establish is um, something that is different from your traditional family physician office. Uh, 
a, a site where it's a one-stop shop. And for its sickest patients, effectively managing chronic conditions in a primary care setting will reduce demands on emergency departments. Recognize those um, individuals that are at risk for getting a specific uh, condition or disease and then target them before um, uh, the disease um, becomes uncontrolled. Saskatchewan has ambitious goals for its health system, but with the province's legacy of innovation, perseverance and cooperation, it is already taking giant steps forward in transforming the quality of care. We've created a common shared goal that we all believe in and we all need to act together to, to really achieve. We literally unleash 40,000 people, give them the time and the tools to be able to come up with the innovations, let them test them, uh, let them come up with uh, these tremendous, uh, uh, this tremendous sense that tomorrow is going to be much better than it was today uh, because of our innovations and creativity. What we're doing now, which I think is really setting us apart from any other place in Canada, is that we are approaching it as an entire health system. Every hospital, every nursing home, every physician's practice, we're all embracing how do we continuously improve our system. So yeah, the journey is a long one, but the size of the ambition is second to none, and that's what's so exciting about working here.